Yes, I'm back. I do that now and again. I've been away for a bit. I've been working on my new class. It's on a <clears throat> multimedia journalism tack. I think the, the next class behind it is the next level on that. So I'm having to learn things like Associated Press style for doing journalism. That's interesting stuff. And then we have the, I mean, I've got the style book. The style book is this bloody thick. Um, having to learn that, having to deal with some of the local brush fires taking out the, the internet on a, semi-regular basis. That one's fun. Um, let's see. There's also dealing with the smoke. Now, we haven't had but one small fire that's been close enough to us to start to worry. It was about nine miles away, but it was in one of the little small canyons. It burned about nine acres, and then they had it put out. But damn many of the smoke. And then we got some breezes and some rain and some breeze, and then we got some clear sky. I could finally see blue sky for a little while. Now we've got a new fire that's to the west of us by about 70 miles but that doesn't seem to deter the smoke at all. Uh, it's annoying. We finally were able to like do things. The, the mask is a godsend in this case because it cuts. Yes, I have to wear it all the time while I'm outside, not just when I'm in a building with other people or in a group of people or whatever. I have to wear it even in my own car. And we keep the um, air conditioner system on recirculate interior air. But there's enough smoke that gets in that I have to keep it on. I've had a couple of days where I, like, was living on my inhaler. It happens. Anyway, face is all cream stuff. I just, I got my cream stuff out and started playing. What can I say? This is a clearance item from one of the local shops. It's, it's one of the scarf shirts. And... For half off, yeah, I'm not sweating it. It's cute. It covers things. Doesn't cover my 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 straps, but hey, that way you know I'm wearing one, huh? <laughs> um, let's see what else. My last class, I came out with a B plus. And for those people who really think nifty things about um, alphabet soup when it comes to schooling and such. Now, see, I was originally tagged by a group that just called themselves the Honor Society. And they were basically just a money grab. It's like they publish yearbooks and stuff. And then I discovered that I was invited to something else. I'm looking it up just a second. I want to make sure I get all the letters right. Yes, I have to put my eyes on. And I actually
actually went and looked this up. Because I wasn't sure if it was another one of the, you know, here's your yearbook, we're going to charge you a butt, butt ton of money. Um, this one, the admission fee is pretty low. It's about 45 bucks. But I looked it up, and I looked it up a lot, and I looked it up over again. And I looked under the Association of College Honor Societies. And I found out that Sigma Tau Delta really is the International English Honor Society. And my university branch, the chapter there, which is Alpha Phi Beta did indeed invite me to the English International Honor Society. Now, I know people who have done the alphabet soup, and nobody seems to notice it on your resume. Nobody is going to notice it on here. Nobody is really going to care if I'm a science fiction or fantasy writer and it's in my credentials. But damn it, it's bragging rights. And at 45 bucks, I'm thinking those bragging rights are worth it. The other thing is, is if I do get, you know, at, am able to save up the money to get across country and am able to walk for my diploma, I get to drape honor cords on my gown. Ha ha. <laughs> Which I think is kind of nifty too. So, yeah, that happened. I have to send in my 45 bucks before. For October 10th. That gives me a minute. What else am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm going to put some nifty pictures up to show you what the, the area looks like normally. And then a picture to show you what the smoke coverage looked like at its worst here at, so far. I mean, you couldn't even see the sun. It was covered. It was horrible. It smelled like a great barbecue, but no. <laughs> no. Ew. It was very, very hard to even think about going outside. Um, oh, yeah. My little town. And my little county who were so positive, we were so stinking remote that we would not have to deal with COVID and plus it's a, you know, it's a hoax anyway kind of thing. We are, we started off with two cases that kind of introduced us to having it local in town and in the area, and at our little bitty hospital. Yes, I dropped something. I'll look for it later. To heck with it. Anyway. Two cases. And then we were up to 25 cases with two deaths. At this point, I'm not sure what the death toll actually is, but we're up to 90 cases. So 
people in our town who were going, oh no, this is all just a hoax. And people like the guy that was chasing me around in one of the stores trying to cough on me because I was wearing my mask. I'm not sure if they've gotten the, men the, the memo yet, but we're not safe. It's not a hoax. This is a heavily red little town. And it's here. So they need to take their hoax and wrap it up in a dirty mask and put a clean one back on. Now, we do have a few people who will put on a mask, but they wear it on their chin. Put your mask on, right? It's like there, there's a rather rude cartoon running around with somebody with their body parts hanging outside their skivvies and going, you know, and a person with a mask that's only partly on. It's like, get the point. I'm going, oh, mercy. Anyway, that's pretty much the up. I know I say in a way a lot over at the beginning. It's the way it is. Now, if you look behind me, we've got some fall kind of stuff sneaking in here and there and that kind of thing. That will be building up as we go along. I mean, I've even got a cup that says, Hello, gorgeous, as in gourd. As in, they're all over the cup. Eat, drink, and be scary. The other thing is, I'm going to be doing my three looks, one palette again. And this time, I've got my Profusion Pro Pigment. I know, the, the you can see some of it with the lid, because it's a clear lid, but... There you go. And that, my darlings, is pretty much the way it is. I'm just kind of hanging out, doing my stuff, doing my classwork, avoiding going out in the smoke. It's no fun. I mean, think about this. They, between COVID and the smoke from all the fires, one of which was started by somebody who was using fireworks during a drought to announce their baby gender reveal. And I'm going, oh my God. <laughs> That was one of our fires. Luckily, it was put out pretty quick because it was, you know, kind of low brush as opposed to in the woods. I keep reminding people, when we had that huge fire in the Columbia Valley, right along the Washington border, just before we got here, that it was started by a kid, 16-year-old, who got bored and lit off a firecracker and threw it in. Columbia River Gorge was destroyed. There were homes and towns literally wiped off the map on both sides. <sighs> One firecracker. One. In a drought. bright. So the gender reveal party didn't go well. In the meantime, I haven't been doing a whole lot else. There's a game that I like. There's school. There's the 
books that I'm writing. Yes, books. I've almost finished the first one. I've got some filling out to do. And then I've got the second one that I wasn't originally planning to do a series of books. But standalone novels at this point, fantasy or otherwise, unless it's like completely factual and like that kind of thing, it's really, really difficult to get standalone books done about now. So my science fiction fantasy crossover will have three, maybe four books so far. That's as far as I've gotten. I've outlined two others. I've started the initial um, just flow of thought work on the second one, and I'm finishing up the first one. We will see how it goes. If nothing else, it's going to be self-published on Amazon as a Kindle book. I'll figure it out. Everybody, remember, stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, Do your best to remind others to do the same thing if there's somebody who's not being safe. If they get obnoxious about it, just remember I don't have bail money. Hopefully, hopefully, we will get through this without losing so many more lives for over 200,000 now just in this country it hurts do your best try and stay safe if you are in a place where elections are coming up, register. Register before you run out of time. Make sure you vote. I don't care who you vote for, just do it. Register and vote. Get in the habit. Register and vote. I've got stuff in the description box for how to register online. There are even Depart there, there's even a section for how you can register to vote if you have lost your residence for any reason so that you're still going to get heard. If this doesn't apply to you because you're not in the U.S., go out and find where you're needed. Really. Find where you need it. You're needed. Help in your civil society. If you have elections, vote. If you don't have elections, volunteer to help the civil society to progress. Be good. <laughs>